everybody, welcome to an episode of Tabletop Noob, and uh, hope you enjoyed that new intro thing that I put up there. Uh, so this here is going to be the first video of uh, painting the shadows of, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> shadows of Birdstone. <laughs> that was the last painting series I did. Um, this is going to be Castle of Ravenloft, and I'm going to be painting the uh, skeletons was there's the basically kind of like skeleton warriors but <clears throat> they're in the game they're just called skeletons so just we'll go ahead and just I got them primed so we'll go ahead and get started on that um, I'm gonna go ahead and get down uh, lay down the uh, base color for the uh, the skeleton for the bones and for that I'm gonna be using uh, the Reaper um, uh, dirty bone. Okay. That's about what you want it to look like. Okay, next um, I'm going to work on painting his sword and his shield. And for that I'm using, uh, again, Reaper's, uh, Reaper's uh, Hones, Honed Steel. Okay, next I'm going to do the uh, the straps on the shield with uh, Reaper's Leather Brown. Okay, next I'm going to hit these, uh, the rock with uh, Reaper's Pure Black. Okay, now the kind of tricky part is, is that I'm going to try to dry brush a little bit on the rock itself with uh, Reaper's Shadowed Stone. And for that, I actually have a dry brush. Um, it's just short bristled, 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 um, and it's kind of stiff. Uh, for dry brushing, what you want to do is that when you have your brush with paint in it, uh, you just want to wipe out as much paint out of the brush as possible. Ideally, you don't want much paint showing up as you wipe it out. Um, a good way to see how much paint is going to come out on your brush is if you just take your hand and just lightly brush your hand. And if you see little to no paint just lightly brushing it across, then you probably got a good brush to start with. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush across it just a few times until we start seeing some of that gray start showing up. And it's probably going to take a few passes before you start seeing it actually start showing up. That's how you know that 
you don't have a whole lot of paint in your brush. If you start seeing paint showing up immediately, then you have too much paint in your brush. It's probably going to be a little hard to tell. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to the dirty bone and dry brush again on top of that. Just to highlight it some more. Got a little too much paint on my brush. That's okay. Not all is lost. See, it kinda looks stony. Now what I'm gonna do is apply uh, a dark tone ink to the entire miniature. Okay, after the ink dries, if you want, you can go ahead and do a dry brush on the bones, but my personal taste is that I just like the, I like the grungy look of the bones. Um, I went ahead and painted the, the base black. Um, you can use the uh, any black you want. It's just black. I won't be basing these. I just, I'll just keep the, the black bases. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and make sure that if you want to make if you want to get notified when I release a new video, there's like a little bell that you need to click on next to the subscribe button. Make sure you click on that. And uh, so until next time, thanks.